Uh, good morning. I'm Jim Hayes from Alexandria, Virginia. Um, I hate to he beat a dead horse, but I really like the charitable plan. Um, suppose you brought it back and then personally opted out, and then we voted you a bonus equal to what you might otherwise be. Would you consider that? Are you talking about re renewing the shareholder designated contribution program? Yeah. Yes, and yeah. then uh, personally opting out, and then we could have a shareholder's vote to grant you an option bonus or some kind of tax uh, advantage bonus. Yeah, I think that might get a little complicated. And uh, additionally, I wasn't the only one giving money at all, nor was Charlie, to organizations primarily pro-choice organizations, in fact, over uh, I don't know of any other than pro-choice organizations, that, that the people that were causing harm to the pampered chef uh, representatives, uh, uh, we had dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds, giving money on, on both sides of the issue. I, I mean, if you looked at one class, well, the largest classification of gifts went to churches Probably the largest classification with in that, I'm, I'm positive, were Catholic churches, and, and we had people giving money to everything in the world, which is exactly the way we wanted it. I mean, whatever it, it's the shareholders' money. So even if you had the two of us opt out, we would have organizations and, and that that would get violent about the fact that some money was going to pro-choice organizations, and rather than take it out on us, whom they can't hurt, they would take it out on some very innocent people. And neither Charlie nor I like the idea of somebody, you know, some some woman that's developed a living, you know, in, in, in Dubuque, Iowa, or in Casper, Wyoming, having her livelihood destroyed because of what we're doing. Uh, so reluctantly, uh, we gave up the practice. I mean, we actually, I received a letter one time from somebody, some organization that was monitoring, said they, they, they didn't give, they didn't care if we were giving $10 million to pro-life organizations and $1 to pro-choice organizations, they were still going to boycott our people. Well, I, boycotts don't bother me. We, we, we had some of that right along, always on a small scale. But because they can't, they basically can't, they can't hurt us in any significant way. But they can hurt individuals very badly, and we're not going to have something around Berkshire that's hurting a bunch of people that have devoted their lives to working with us. And uh, so we reluctantly gave it up. Charlie? Well, as I said, it's a dead horse, and I miss it, too. <laughs> <laughs>